February, March of 2018, we've had about 16 instances of bomb threats that were charged and brought into the criminal justice system here in the county. There have been eight in Springfield and eight in other jurisdictions across the county. Uh, they have been committed in equal parts by boys and girls, and they've been committed across the age range of juveniles. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17 year olds have committed these offenses. And again, they've happened across school systems in Hamden County. Chapter 269, section 14, subsections B and C, dictate very strict penalties for, for threats uh, that involve any sort of bomb or firearm being in any place that involves a congregation of people. With respect to ch chapter 269, section 14, that does come with mandatory penalties, and especially if there is a, quote, serious disruption uh, to a school or other assembly. That does come with a mandatory sentence of three years in state prison to 20 years, or in the House of Corrections, six months to two and a half years. In the case of juveniles, this could end up in incarceration or juvenile detention in a DYS facility. We've, we really emphasize school safety here in Springfield. Over the last several years, we spent millions in hardening the target so that we can ensure our parents that we provided the safest environment possible. We've received criticism from some relative to having a school police office, officers in our schools. I thank God every day they're in our schools because we ensure our kids are safe here in school every day. And I want to let our parents know we take every threat very seriously. We've hardened the target at our schools and we will ensure that our kids are gonna be safe every day when they come to school. These efforts to cause disruption in our schools is not gonna to be tolerated. And for someone to say that this is a joke, they're full of you know what. The tragedies that have occurred across the country, the heartache that has occurred across the country. We work very hard in the Springfield Public School System, not only educational values, but to make sure that we have hardened areas and targets and we make sure that we have uh, cameras, uh, locks, and our Quebec units have been invaluable, not in a punishment mode, but in a relationship building mode with our students. And the facts show that. So again, the District Attorney, Anthony Galuni, uh, I appreciate him uh, being very proactive on this to send a message, a message that he continues to send when he's dealing with drug dealers or other negative individuals, that you must let your child, your student know this is not a joke. This has ramifications. I don't want to hear this is a teaching moment or a learning moment. Maybe it is in a small percentage. Consequences will be felt. So don't let anybody tell you we didn't tell you so. This message to Superintendent Warwick and our administrators and principals and teachers, I believe they'll be holding assemblies, uh, possibly too, will be sent loud and clear. Don't do it.